of Ronald Reagan. <laughs> you can't even oh bullshit God, me with that one, Jen. You Gen, are you in there? Are you in there? You can't bullshit me with that, Gen. There's there's only so many things I will believe from you. Liking Ronald Reagan is not one of them. I know you despise yeah, no. that man with every fiber of your being. Yeah, true. No. I couldn't even I like. That you is how you know I've been point. <laughs> That is how you know I've been kidnapped. Exactly. Cough twice if you've been held at gunpoint. Uh, Welcome back, everybody, to the Storytime Network. We are here to uh, practice law once again. Um, due to circumstances, it's been a couple of weeks since we've last played, but that's fine. Oh, right? Yeah, uh, hopefully I don't need to solve another murder and or have to defend myself from committing murder. Again. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's okay. She had it coming. <laughs> so She said Elon Musk was intelligent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, did somebody really need to murder her? If she's that dumb, I feel like death's gonna come find her anyway. She's a doctor. I have, like, it was for the, it was for the safety of others. Mm, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I believe we're on the second investigation segment. Um... <laughs> what an opening line for this stream. What a train wreck that was. Yeah. Let's turn the table. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun, Trucy. Also, I... I can't help but be put off by the uh, penis-sized guillotine in the background. Is there a cross guillotine? Whatever. I don't care about the French. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> the French want to. If the French want to take me up on the pronunciation of their words, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> no, French words are unpronounceable a lot of the time, or just nonsensical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, out of context, these lines are very funny. <laughs> yes, I mean, in You're... context, they're also still very <laughs> yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. I love the Mr. Hat bit. Where Hi, is Dummy it? Dad. Really one of my favorite things. Hi, Dummy Dad. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I assume that's because you have nowhere else to live, but, you know. No, I'm truly subconscious. <laughs> Call me Ginny. Or Gemini. Whichever is not legally distinct. <laughs> yeah, we got. Or is legally distinct. Hmm. We can do it. Next month. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh yeah, he's he's getting the death penalty. Uh, okay, that's so cool. Who? Bit more pressure. Bit more pressure. Not ideal, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you flee the country? Are, are, you, are, are you secretly a battle angel without help? If you could flee the country, it'd be good. I don't think our police department is competent enough to, you know, uh, try for extra, extradition. Extradition? Extradition? I don't think they know what that word is. Mm. I know extra. I know it's pronounced extra die. I just don't know what it is for. E it's for extradition. Extradition. Okay. Extradition. Yeah. Yes, I don't even believe the the current police department knows what that word is or means. Hmm. I mean, Edward they're led does, by. Dick I don't know where Edward. Edward's in Bolivia, I think. Dealing with sabbatical. Something? He he's on an extended sabbatical for reasons. Hmm. Uh, Reasons that definitely don't have anything to do with uh, his uh, definitely not a partner's meltdown. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to examine anything in the room? Uh, just talk to her. All right. 
Oh, uh, you should you should uh, examine the house plant. All right. I mean, who doesn't want to marry into a mob family? They got lots of money. Wasn't there that one British comedian who had the bit about loads of money? From way back when? Uh, I do not recall this. <laughs> I remember it popping up in a, a, a video essay about satire. I just don't remember the details. I mean, I'd ask you to remember... Uh, I'd ask you to uh, describe what the comedian looked like, but I'm assuming you're all you're going to remember is base details like white and male, which really doesn't help. <laughs> and that's most British comedians. So. Yeah, that's, it doesn't narrow things down much. Yeah, Ed, sorry, I had to check something. Edgeworth is actually in the nation's... is in the former nation state of Kadopia. Now the kingdom of Alabast and... The Republic of the Ball. The fuck? What are those words? He also has to go to uh, Zhangjia for a little while to deal with things <laughs> and wolves mm. and a wolf. I, and do, a I do hope Investigations gets uh, a proper licensed game at some point. The first one does. Right. The first one did get released. Um, I did play that one legally. Um, it's the second one that did. Mm. I've heard they weren't as popular as, like, the mainline Ace Attorney or Great Ace Attorney games. Yeah, they also just weren't as good. Unfortunate. Like, yeah, they were just long for the sake of being long. Mm. Where, like, they had great character designs. Like, I love Kay Faraday's design. Um, they also just struggle the, with having the same caliber of writing as, like, the mainline attorney, Ace Attorney games. Mm. Also, I think we're having to call the, uh, the plant, um, fucking, uh, Charlie Sam. <laughs> yeah, this is eventually for a trophy, but you're not going to get it for a minute. That's fine. As long as we get it at some point. I hope you do, because I'm trying to call it out every time. Yeah. Alright. Uh, back. When in doubt, whenever you have to come back to the office, just make sure you stop by the house plant. Will do. Really? Being gangster ain't all it's cracked up to be. Mm. I mean, did you not see his little apron? Oh, yeah! Is he getting into the yeah. restaurateur business? Yeah, didn't you say he was going to cook you or something? He was going to take you out? I mean, he has requisite ruthlessness to be a restaurateur. Mm. I mean, I've... From what I've heard, apparently, like, um, mob run restaurants that are just like fronts are apparently really good. So, yeah, because they don't I want mean, people, uh, they want inspectors looking too close at shit. So, they <laughs> want it to be a well run shop. Also, they're probably going to be conducting their business there. They want to food, they want the food to be good. Yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah, everything I've heard, people are like, yeah, it was one of the best places I ever went to. I'm really sad that it went away. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, have you... Jack, you've been to Boston. That's pretty much the North End. I've been to a few places in Boston. It's just, I don't know if any of them were run by the mob or not. Yeah. Hard to say. You go, like, you dig deep enough, you can probably figure something out. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to, you know do anything to shit rock the boat or any shit like that. No, no, no. Dude, that wording. Not a great not not great wording to use when talking about mob business. Context. Oh wait. Huh. Damn it. Where's phrasing? <laughs> I 
I don't know. I actually it's really like Rocky. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't seem yeah, but... bad by any stretch. No, I just think like, Rocky like, is like, 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 and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Rocky's like actually one of my like. He's like the most harmless of the second. Like, like you know how there's always a case that is unrelated. Yeah. In these games. Yeah. Like Rocky it's is just one like of the third guys usually. Yeah, but like Rocky is like truly one of the least offensive of them. Mm. Mm. He's like such a like not a nothing burger, but like kind of a nothing burger. Mm. He's at least better than the fucking uh, clown and all that shit. Oh god, this there's circus. a lot. There's few things worse. Mm. And one of those is Chef Jean Armstrong. Mm -hmm. That was not. That did not age well. I mean, it wasn't oh, good when no. it was. When it, I'm sure it wasn't good when it was first done, but it really didn't age well. It didn't age well during the first re release up to the DS. <laughs> I mean, neither did the circus case, really. No, but... Child marriage is still legal in the United States. Which is, you know, disgusting, and everyone who says think of the children while, uh, you know, voting for yes. people who enable that shit is a uh, filthy hypocrite. Mm. I mean, the fact is, the Republicans only care about children when they're in the womb. Once they're out, they just don't give a shit. Correct. Correct. But we're not here to litigate politics. We're here to litigate the criminal trial. I'm here to litigate politics, but that's just because that's my hyperfixation for the week. <laughs> for the poor, week. Poor soul. <laughs> decade. Yeah. I meant decade. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Ken. I don't believe it's for the week. <laughs> yeah. You know me for long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, well, poor, put, poor it, yeah, put it this way, I'm fairly sure since, ever since I've met you, it's been your hyperfixation, so it makes it a little, you know, difficult. Mm -hmm. Fair. Absolutely fair. <laughs> Where are we going now? Well, uh, you should go to the detention center. But I, I don't want to go to detention! I swear that... damn bad! <laughs> I swear that's not a living man. He's been there for like the last ten years. Honestly, he's just having a really good nap, <laughs> and no one wants to do anything about it. <laughs> this is kind of the shit shift, so they, you know, they're they're happy to let him just nap through it. Because if they wake him up, he goes home, and somebody else has to take over. The right. thing is, generally, there are like four kinds of shifts for shift work. There, there's the uh, there's the morning shift, the uh, the swing shift, the evening shift, and the graveyard shift. And most people do not have to do multiple graveyard shifts in a row unless that's like the shift they're assigned for their job. Graveyard shifts are fucking killer on you. Yeah, no, I. So I work, I, you guys know I work at a pharma company, right? Yeah. I don't think I've told you which one, and I think that's okay. Um, the best. But, so the company I work at, also, like, at the site I work at, has the manufacturing, or like, a mm -hmm. GMP's team on site. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I will often have to run into the graveyard shit. Or the night shift bull, and it's just like, y'all are the weirdest motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I like, people who wanna... actually choose to be on that shift are just like, a bit unhinged. No offense, Bill. Yeah, I kind of oh, want to no, be on no. a graveyard shift, because th that's what my sleep schedule is like anyway. I might as well try well, and just... take advantage of it. Your sleep schedule is fucked, but that's... <laughs> Honestly, My circadian rhythm is not good. Oh, your circadian rhythm is like linked up to fucking I don't know. 
Australia. I mean, you say that, but like when I've been to America, if I stay there long enough, I start doing the same thing there as well. I start staying up later and later. It's kind of insane, honestly. Yeah, it's it's a really weird thing. Uh, also, I I forgot that this fucker existed and that his name was Wesley Stickler. Yep. It's such an accurate name for his um, gimmick. Mm. Is he a valuable witness, though? Is he really? I don't think he was even in his own life <laughs> prior to this case. What are you busy with? You're in jail. He is busy with, uh, trying to escape. Don't tell the guards. We already saw the Shawshank poster. I mean, look, he's an academic. He has schoolwork to get through. Mm -hmm. And you know what they say, it's, par it's publish or perish. And they take that very seriously in Japan, California. Mm. Uh. Also, here's my attorney's badge, just so you know we're legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to know what he's thinking. I really don't. It's going to be weird. Honestly, he's really the most normal student we meet. You obtained two, didn't you? I honestly don't care what flavor pervert you are. Don't steal shit. <laughs> don't steal shit from children. Mm. Yeah, no, just, you know, don't steal shit in general. Unless, like... You're in that dire of a need. Or you're stealing from billionaires. Hashtag resist. Mm. Billionaires will miss shit. Exactly. Honestly, I wonder how many people could steal, like, half a million, uh let's say dollars from any given billionaire and how long it would take for them to notice. It wouldn't, is the problem. They're too dumb. Mm. Because at that point, like, you don't have a sense of value to anything. No. It doesn't mean it. I'm pretty sure there's a scientific studies that show that like, once you get past a certain threshold of wealth, your brain just stops functioning like a normal human being's. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, like, you basically don't have consequences anymore. Right. It's honestly partially why, um, like, parents tend to be the way they are. Is because for so long, there were no consequences. Yep. And, like, to be fair, like, that is something that a lot of people have posited as, like, why there's been such, like, a pushback against civil rights and shit. Particularly from... Yeah, because they, they feel like by them getting more rights, that means that, that, that these people will have less rights, somehow. Even though that's not how it works. No, it's a rising yeah, tide uh, lifts all ship situation. Right. But even, like, uh, aside from that, like, going to, like, the most basic core, like, taking that aside, right? Like, there's also a level of, they were promised a bill of goods, and part of that bill of goods was if you, you know, Marry this woman you hate. 
have these kids you don't want be in a job you slowly die in constantly and emotionally. Mm -hmm. Eventually you'll reach an age where people will want to listen to you. And they finally reach that age and no one wants to listen to them. Mm -hmm. And so like in many ways they, they were sold a bill of goods that hasn't paid out. And they feel cheated. And so, like, there's a level of not to justify anything, of course, but it does explain it. Right, it's an interesting thought, at least. Also, I just want to point out, you—I don't think Stickley, you ever said in your testimony something like a pistol, because that changes things immensely. Does it, though? Yes, because yes. he could be holding something that's not a pistol. <laughs> it okay, was... look, I know, I, I get that we've all been seeing Maya Faye's trials, because <laughs> they're legendary at this point, <laughs> but not everyone gets mistaken for holding a ketchup bottle <laughs> and thinking that's a gun. <laughs> what about the time she was holding a banana? <laughs> Look, we don't talk about that because she was blamed for the genocide of Turkey. We don't know how old she was, but it happened. It was a whole day. It took a whole day for Phoenix. God, I just I'm just imagining the conversation that would result while <laughs> when Phoenix first visited Maya in the detention center, just like you're being, you're being, you're on trial for what? <laughs> How does uh, something like this even happen? I don't know, Nick. <laughs> it all happened so quickly. You can get me off again, right? <laughs> One of these days, I'm not going to be practicing law to save you. <laughs> I mean, where do you think Maya is now? <laughs> I'm assuming she fled the country after her latest, you know, um... <laughs> False accusing. Who do you think helped her escape? <laughs> I don't know, Francisco, on a lark. For real, honestly, that would track. Right, uh, are we moving again then? Uh, move to the Kataki Mansion, yes. Hi, Plum. Honestly, I love Plum. She's just a joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All these gangsters are a bit of a negative influence on Trucy. We probably shouldn't be taking this, what, 15-year-old girl around this, around this stuff? <laughs> I think she's okay. She seemed first. Mm -hmm. She helps her dad cheat a poker. <laughs> you know? He's so, gonna you know. Penalty somehow, but uh, we can't leave. We used the wrong formula and got the right answer somehow. <laughs> Uh, Don't ask us to do it again, because we will not be able to. No. <laughs> I promise. It is not something we could repeat. <laughs> First and foremost, my badge. Oops, wrong button. My badge. I don't even care Rip. that none of them are going to respond to it. I'm just still doing it. <laughs> Please, there, I get it. Hey, we're what? Uh, 
What did we say how old we were? Like 23, 25? Something like that. He's 19. He's way younger than us. To oh, be well. fair, Japanifornia operates on law school is an undergraduate degree. Still, like, even even when I was, like, 22, 23, I would have been like, don't lump me in with the 18 and 19 year olds. I don't know what the fuck they're on about. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, I did that regardless. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I would be like, don't lump me in with the 22 and 23-year-olds. I don't know what the fuck they're on about. <laughs> like, the minute I graduated from college, I called all college students children. <laughs> yes, because that's what they are, now that you're older than college age. I mean, it probably says something that the majority of the people that um, I was friends with and talked to on my course at uni were the uh, older students. <laughs> like the, you know, the... Um, the ones who had lived their lives. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. The no, ones who had full screen development. <laughs> Yeah, the one, the ones who hadn't gone there straight out of uh, high school, basically. He didn't. Why didn't he tell us the whole story? Why does nobody tell us the whole story? Do they want to get the chair? Phoenix, just off screen. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they're just doing it to fuck with you specifically. <laughs> Sometimes when they tell you the whole story, it's worse than if they'd hit internet. <laughs> Which is why sometimes they hide it. Mm -hmm. I mean, good to so the know. Time, most of the time, though, most of the time, though, when it's happening to Apollo, it's because Phoenix is paying them. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix is like, my apprentice, you have to go through the same bullshit that I did. No easy ride on this job. <laughs> Look, when the old bag may be dead, but... <laughs> And or it could not be with actually dead, or is she, or is she just going to show back up again? I have no idea. I cannot tell you. I'm fairly sure I did check the wiki to see if she showed up at any point. I think she might either show up or get mentioned in one of the investigations games, but I don't think she shows up here. She does Thank get. God. She does show up in case five of investigations one. Yeah. Um, I, don't know what that I do place, remember though. that very very vividly. Where on the timeline does that take place, is the question. Um, after Phoenix... After Game 3. So sometime between Game 3 and this game. Yes. Okay, yeah, she she only shows up in, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Ace Attorney, uh, Investigation Games. Cases. Yeah. Um, so it looks like she she gets uh, an appearance in the kidnap turnabout, and then uh, turns up in turnabout blaze. Oh, I forgot she was in turnabout kidnap. Forgot she was in that one. Mm -hmm. Fuck off! I hated that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did Old Mac have a part to play and why? No, it was... No, because I had me I had nightmares about the intro murder scene. Oh, wow. Or, like, the oh. intro's animatic. But it gave oh. me nightmares as a kid. Damn. You Wait, would, how long ago you did would... the game come out? Well, I was like in... I played it on the DS, so I think I was... Mid-teens? Ah, okay. So you meant teenage kid, not kid. Yeah, kid. yeah. Right, right. So it came out, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations 1 came out on DS, uh, 2010. Yeah, that makes sense, because I was about to go to college. I would have been about to go to college at that point. Mm -hmm. God, I'm old. <laughs> um, I'm going to be 33. <laughs> I'm turning 29 in like a little over a week. I am. Um, I mean this with 26? Question mark. I mean this. 
I mean this with all sincerity, Jack. 30 is truly... Turning 30 was great. Yeah, I did imagine things, so. Did things get easier when you turn 30 again? Please? You stop giving a shit. <laughs> That's not the same as things getting easier. <laughs> things don't need to get easier, though. Things just need to get more tolerable. Yeah, like, you almost, like, stop caring about the, like... It's the... You stop caring about what is no longer... <laughs> How do I describe it? It's like... The things that made your 20s unbearable no longer seem to matter. Mm -hmm. I see. Your knees will hurt, though. Oh, damn it. I've just had a thought. Uh, unrelated uh, to what we were talking about, related to the case. Oh, oh, actual thoughts, okay. Yeah, sorry, I've I've just been going through and I just saw something, and I just like, okay, so, uh, Waki, the boss, and I think she said herself, are the only ones who have access to the guns. Wait tell a minute. Me, tell me it wasn't Boss Kitaki who killed the guy thinking that he was the fucking noodle stand guy, and he was like, I am taking out a competitor before I get into the business. <laughs> oh my god. That would be that amazing. Would be dark. <laughs> that would be so dark. <laughs> for this game, for like this series specifically. <laughs> like, that's, that was just my instant thought. Considering we were talking about him becoming a restaurateur, of course he would have no issue taking out competitors. And like, the dude was carting around a noodle stand. He looks like he's, you know, the proprietor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he was... I forget why. Actually, no, that's... I, f I forgot. Um, we realized that... Um, didn't we realize that the shot came from inside the noodle stand? Yes. The voices are coming from inside the building. Remember when oh, the whole by the thing, way, uh, could the you, uh... Oh, have sorry. we gotten any information about why it was this guy? I don't no. think so. <laughs> I mean, we know cool, why Waki yeah, um, targeted him, but we don't actually know why, did, why the guy was killed. <laughs> why was why did Waki target him? Uh, because Waki went to him for surgery and the guy fucked it up. Oh, okay. Then I can tell you this tidbit, because it's funny. Okay. Um, look at his name. Just see if you can look at his name for really quick. It's Paul Maractus, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Just, uh, what happens if you switch the M and the P? Malpractice, goddammit. God, son of a whore! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's fucking gay! <laughs> I'm glad I could do this to you guys. <laughs> you beat the shit game, god damn it! I was wondering I why it was called. Game. I was wondering why it was called Palmeractus. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> god! Your reactions to puns are hilarious, Mel. <laughs> I wouldn't react like this if the puns weren't actually very good. <laughs> <laughs> and nicely hidden. <laughs> to be fair, that was a good one. Yeah, no, that's that a really a good one. one. <laughs> I was so worried. I was like, I hope Bill does not catch this one. No, I absolutely didn't. When you brought up the name, I was like, oh, does it spell something backwards? And they said, swap the P in the P in the M. I was like, wait, what? Oh, Valpractice, son of <laughs> Especially before you got the reveal of like why this guy. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Cause that would have been like too like that would have been giving the game away a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that seems quick.
disprove. No. No, 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 no. You sus, 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 sus. You don't get to pull that. You have to tell us what you don't like. It could be very, very important. In fact, it is almost certainly going to be very, very important. Okay. Maybe I'm just channeling Charlie Day here. But what if Alita is the culprit? It's Pepe Sylvia all over again. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I see his name everywhere. Have you watched that clip yet, Bill? I haven't, but I'm now thinking, is that where the fucking uh, gift slash image of the guy in front of the uh, string ball yes. series comes from? Yeah. Okay, yes. yeah. Okay, fair. You will really have watch that clip. It's hilarious. Is it not paying the bills? Look at our house, woman! Oh no, <laughs> we make so much money. Oh, if we didn't need to, if we didn't want to, we would never work again. For <laughs> ten generations. Mm. We own half of Japan. <laughs> right, uh... Do you ever hear of the Tojo... Do you ever hear of the Tojo clan? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, are we doing anything else here? Uh, did you talk about father and son? Yeah. Wait, which Tojo clan? Yakuza. Ah. Uh, uh, pan to the right. That and woman's it's... still trying to get over the fucking fence. She Honestly, is really... I kind of respect her commitment. She is going to go for her goddamn jazzercise walk, <laughs> even if it kills her. <laughs> She's making the cops pay her not to uh, enter the crime scene. Honestly, good for her. Uh, no, I respect the hustle. Hit <laughs> the back. Birdie says they. What was that? Um, uh, examine the trash can. <laughs> I like how we're just stealing stuff from the trash. And it's apparently evidence. Isn't it really stealing if it's in the trash, though? Phoenix just off to the side, whispering like he's a ghost. This might be important later. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cop. I saw you slacking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> where are we going? All right, uh, go to LP. The these days. <laughs> no. Hi, Mr. Old Dude. Ah, cool. Yeah, that's not great, but, you know, not something we could have stopped. It was already a crime scene before we were on the case. I mean, somebody got shot in it? <laughs> Aru? Who's after your neck? Again, I, is that the fucking Peanuts theme? I don't know, but I forgot he had the harmonica. I didn't. I made sure to never forget the harmonica. 
Also reminds me. Of course, I you a, wouldn't forget them. I had a session with my other D and D group um, yesterday, uh, and um, we uh, we did a bad, and we needed to get uh, well, we wanted to get somebody resurrected, um, and the the pantheon of gods in this campaign are based on the Greek gods, and we'd been staying at the Temple of Apollo, so we tried to get the High Priest of Apollo to help us, and he's like, hey, I'm a bard, and pulls out a harmonica and starts playing it. Of course he did. Yeah. That's great. Mr. Aldoon, this is something you should have told us a lot earlier. Why do people hide nah. crucial information from us? Why? Oh, are you getting his backstory now? Well, I would assume we're about to. I'm just showing him the badge. My badge. Right. Cool. I'm fairly sure you told us. Hey, I remember too. Give me some praise. No. <laughs> oh. Because that guy told me to not. <laughs> Phoenix hiding behind port like holding up two branches. <laughs> no, I I feel like we need to know now for the case. Your Honor, can I say the witness is uh, uncooperative? Denied. Also, how did I get here? <laughs> Look, I just wanted some salty noodles, okay? Don't bother me on my day off. Sir, why are you here? <laughs> the better question is, why wouldn't I be here? God damn it. Yeah, that's what enmity means. Considering his entranceway is at the very least colored in gold, if not is gold. Yeah, pretty well. Red white, is that you? Yeah, because red white is the next VF. Ah, you know, forget it. No, no. You... Try again. I don't need to try again. You know who I'm talking about. I just don't want to speak the fucker's name. That's fair. Every fifth operation for free. <laughs> you, you really shouldn't need to go into a doctor for five operations unless you have a chronic condition. I mean, it's because it was the mob doctor. He's basically the mob doctor. They kept getting their wars, but yeah. I mean, I'm just imagining, like, coming with a really bad injury that's going to cost a lot of money to fix. i like, please fix him. Uh, is this our fifth operation? No, it's your fourth. Right, I see. Damn it. Sh shoots, shoots another one in the foot. Okay, fix that one first, and then we'll do this one. <laughs> you still have to pay. <laughs> yes, yeah. but it's less for a gunshot to the foot. <laughs> I don't think you can steal the concept of a of a deal. <laughs> uh, let's not get into the shithousery of the insurance companies. Oh god, fucking insurance industry is a nightmare. Oh, was he a doctor? <laughs> Doctor Who, I presume. Yep. 
Yeah. Dr. Noodle. Until the year before last? Did you it's still- Pretty recent, dude. Did you still look like that? Yeah. Maybe he just had naturally great golden locks. Okay. I'm not sure what this has to do with the conversation we were having. Right, okay. Cool. No, no, Apollo, they were not friends. Also, they weren't even roommates. No, but he's called Guy and the other guy was Pal. Oh, yeah, fuck's sake. God fucking damn it! <laughs> God damn it. I'm the amount of puns in this game is too damn high. Uh, my oh my god, they were childhood rivals. Okay, they are, but they are both forty-six. Interesting. I just wanted to check that. <laughs> One of them is not forty-six. The answer may surprise you. What was that again? Hey, how? How? <laughs> One of them does not look forty-six. The answer may surprise you. Yeah. I mean, Marantz neither looks of them... older than 46. Neither he of them looks like really a good look... decade older. Yeah, I mean, neither of them look 46, really. Both of them have not aged yeah. gracefully. No, well, no, Marantz has, like, straight up a full head of gray hair. Mm. Or half of rather, being the upper word. I mean, Marantz looks like he's in his 60s. Yeah, 50s at the youngest. Late 50s, probably, at the youngest. Aldo, yeah, he seems 40-ish. Yeah. Wait, yeah, I that's, what, that's I've... what I mean, though. It's it's surprising how hilarious. Like, mm. of the two of them, the one who was the doctor looks so old, while the one who got kicked out of being a doctor is not... looks more normal. Phoenix, are you gonna say that right to his fucking fa Not Phoenix, sorry, Apollo. Are you gonna say that right to his fucking face? <laughs> Damn it, Phoenix! What did I do? Sorry, reflex. Damn it, Apollo! <laughs> uh, but it's just like... like it's just like... Classic bit. Trucy, <laughs> look! We have somebody who might have killed that guy! Uh, what? Let's go, let's go to the court and blame him! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're not Pal, we're Apollo. Yeah, we're Paul, not Pal. Also, Eldoon has just no sold the fact that we were we were just like, yeah, let's blame this guy for the murder. Because <laughs> he yeah. knows that no one would believe that he did it. <laughs> also, he Javier Gat is his best friend. Yeah. I think I think Clavier is everyone's best friend in this city. <laughs> Ooh, He's such an amicable guy. There's a very famous like there's a bit. I forget which one. Where like the joke is that he is everyone's friend. Mm. And it pisses off some other character. Mm. I forget what show it's from. I mean, it's it's sort of the um, thing with um, Homer and Frank Grimes and Simpsons. 
Yes, but it's not. It's very specifically not that. Mm. It's not The Simpsons. It might. It might be Homer and Flanders. Oh, I don't know. It'll come to me eventually. Look, it's a ladder again. Yes. You should go to the detention center, though. Right. <laughs> Just change the subject. I don't want to deal with this argument. Mm -hmm. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Okay, King Julian. Look, Madagascar was one of those formative movies when I was younger. Oh, no, I don't blame you. The penguins are still peak comedy to me. No, the, pe are the penguins are the best parts of all three movies. <laughs> I have only actually ever seen the first one. I've not actually watched the second and third one properly. I've watched the penguin segments of it. <laughs> you know what? Fair. I didn't Honestly, watch an episode or two of the TV series involving the Penguins, and it wasn't as good as the movie. The Penguins movie was actually not bad, No, it wasn't terrible. Huh. Um, like, <laughs> there's a lot of funny <laughs> gags in there. <laughs> Along Man, the what fucking... was the movies from that era that just hit different? Yeah. I mean, the joke with, what's this, with the main villain... Call, calling he, like, in and, help... like, fucking up the tech side of it. No, but, um, the villain, like, const like, whenever telling a subordinate to do something, it's actually oh, just yeah. an actor's name, a famous actor's name. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, great no, that bit. was great. That's a great bit. But also, as I said, calling into the into the spy base and like not having not having his mic on and then turning his mic on, but then turning the uh, screen off. Ah, <laughs> uh, gr uh, perfect. <laughs> Sometimes, like a classic is a classic. Yeah. Mm hmm. You call your fiancé imposter? Sus. You've been in prison uh. two days. You haven't even really been in prison. This is the detention center. Do they even have prison? They kill everyone. <laughs> You know I'm right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Walkie, you need to get your shit straight with with re uh, regard to English language linguistics. Also, you need to stop lying to us. Ever. A fallen is she angel. A battle angel. Fallen angels are but bad. Is she... <laughs> but is she a battle angel? Oh, okay, I see why you're making that joke now. <laughs> ah, you finally got the reference. Yeah, I finally figured it out. Battle Angel Alita. Yep. I forgot about that. Maybe don't speed up your heart rate by doing your stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe calm down a little bit. Never. Oops, no, wrong way. There we go. How could you not look at our badge? Hey, hey. Because he's a fucking scrub. Mm. 
Nuptial 40 out on the stoop? I'm pretty sure that's a wine vintage. Again, you're the married wrong, one though. here. It's a... I mean, nuptial is the word for marriage, right? But yeah. yeah. That's not an actual wine. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think nuptial was spelt like that, though. Yeah. What did you think it was spelled like? I don't really know! <laughs> it's honestly not a word I've ever really had to write out. Yeah, you, you want to know what... You want to know, like, what word actually does that to me? What? What? Alarm. Really? Alarm? Alarm. Well, he has two L's? No, it's the, the, it's the A-L-A. It looks wrong to my brain every mm. time I see it. Huh. That's fair. I mean, I feel like whenever you stare at a word for a long time, it stops looking real. Yeah. But I also had a... <laughs> had an incident while I was, um... God, I think I might have even been a young teenager of, um... Trying to, f trying to remember how to spell, um... I think I was trying to remember how to either spell or look up the definition of uh, specific in a dictionary, but I forgot that the S was at the front of it, so I was looking in the P's. Oh my god. It took me no, longer no. than I would like to uh, admit. Admit to on realize. stream? <laughs> longer than I would like to admit that it, <laughs> that it took me to realize, hey, Great. I might be fucking this up a bit. Why did you mention that she didn't tell us? Damn it! I'm sussing her. You just seem a little be... suspicious. I will be right back. Um. Just present when you get to the when you can when you um flush out all the options, present the knife and then move back to the Kataki mansion. Okay. And then go to the park. Alright. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright. Not the Rivales family. I mean, I don't exactly blame them. <laughs> mm -hmm. One shot, one kill. Oh, god damn it. What are the other wonders of the Kataki family? Also, uh, yeah, Jack, I really don't like Kaburu. I, I, I figured as much. Or his, or his group. Fucking Mick Bell is racist. Oh yeah. No, he's an asshole. Also, I didn't know he was a he. <laughs> I get that. Very, um... Very not clear on the gender. But yeah, oh uh, no, Mick Bell is... Probably the biggest asshole in the group. Mm -hmm. Kabru at least comes across as somewhat skilled, but they also got team wiped twice, so. Like a bunch of scrubs. Mm. And they were about to be wiped a third time. Yeah. That's a good job of sh illustrating how strong Shuro's group is, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're more meant to be foils to uh, Lyos' team more than anything else. Mm. I still don't like them. Oh. And I... I definitely don't like them enough to have an entire episode devoted to them. I get that. Also, take a look at uh, Walkie's shirt. Yeah, I think I I think we did point out that he's got the fucking uh, is that the Blue mascot the mascot from the fucking uh, ghost yeah. you created? Yes. I imagine if he actually has money, it's because he's finally you know created merchandise.
But yeah, all I've got left to finish is uh, single episodes of High Card uh, and Witch and the Beast. Um, I think three episodes each of Cherry Magic and Villain's Day Off, and then uh, the rest of uh, Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic. Which you're about halfway through, if I can uh, guess. Uh, I think I just finished watching episode eight. Oh, so, so you only have four episodes left of that. That's good. Yeah. Well, four episodes left of the dub. Yeah. Yeah. So you have enough. You can knock out all that in the course of two days. Yeah, easily. I should. I should have it finished by Friday night. Are you back again? Yes. Cool. We have Welcome, man. Right. So you said present the knife. Yes. Present the Kniff. Or the gut. Whichever. <laughs> Please shut up. Stop admitting to a something, murder something, you didn't... Something, 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 incrimination. Stop, stop admitting to a murder you didn't commit. <laughs> Why are we asking him what happened? We can't trust his testimony. He he wants to believe he did it. Unfortunately, my friends, we don't have much of a choice. I'm just having a look at the gun, see if there's anything. I mean... There's uh, no, did he, there's no did you go through the night of the crime? No, uh, not yeah, I'm just looking at this gun. Where, you know, there's no clip, so I don't know what the fuck this gun is firing. I'm pretty sure the clip was taken out. It, it's just a flat space, though. There's no place for a clip to go in. That might just be graphical limitations. I'm sure it is, but still. Did you do it? Maybe we should have asked this before we started representing you, but, you know. To be fair, did Phoenix ever ask? No. No. I don't and know. He really should have for that one case came to. You know the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a great case, though. I really enjoyed that one. No, a it was lot. a good case. It definitely was. Wait, which case now? Uh, last uh, case of game? game two. Oh yeah, that's a good one. The one where my, the one where yeah. Ah, uh, the tension of that one is so well done. It is sublime. Like it's truly like the most mid game overall, but that high, Jesus Christ! So it also has the fewest cases of the original trilogy. Well, it has like, the if same you count the DLC. Well, no, if you count the DLC in one, it uh, one and three will have five cases. Two only has yeah, four. Yeah, I guess. Well, one only has a DLC because it because of the reroute. Hmm. Onto, the point onto, the, onto the DS. So. <clears throat> Percy, what Hence are you why, talking like, about? Oh, it's something Dad taught me. What do stands have to do with anything? Tracy, the truth is something catching Jojo. up on JoJo's. What part is she on? Four? Five? Probably. Right, okay. Right, let me just... I don't remember what happened next all too well. But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did him in? I... How do you not remember? <laughs> Seems like a big event. 
Weird. Anyway, that probably, that probably doesn't mean anything important. Oh well. Let's not question it too much. Alright. Sus. Look, I'm telling you guys, it's probably nothing. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, right, we're back at the Kotaki Mansion. Yes, and now pan right. What? Did you talk to... Did you get the Knight of the Crime? Yeah. Thought we did. Yeah, Knight of the Crime. Yep. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, let me check something. I'm gonna show him his mum's underwear. Oops. Why would you do that? I'm bored. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> Why would anybody do that? You know I had to. Yeah, no, of course. Go to El June's house. And then pan left. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't catch it. Sorry. I thought you no, guys were. Fine. Had, Don't worry about it. Had gone inside already, and so. Now go back to the park. There we go. Sometimes this game's a little finicky. Nah, it's fine. We understand. Oh, Clavius here. Yeah, he's here. Hi, Clavia. Have I forehead? I... Why? He, I he has music. a really great theme. He really does. Like, unfair. <laughs> it's like stupid how good it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty boy rock star lawyer. Oh, your bike broke down. What a shame. Bugged exhaust pipe. Does he speak with a German accent? Yes. yes. Right. He studied in Germany. I know, but, you know, so did fucking, uh, Francisca. I don't think we... I don't, I don't think we ever said she spoke with a German accent. No, because it's funnier. <laughs> and you know I'm right. Yeah. Also, um, did you see the... Um, oh, what are their names? Um, Paula Peroff and uh, Mornal came out with a new uh, Ace Attorney animation. Oh no, really? I have to go check it out. It's it's You're... one with Francisca, is, which is why I, which was why I was reminded. Oh, Can you please post the chat? I gotta see this. I'll see if I can find it. Um, maybe I bookmarked it, but probably not. Yo, I did bookmark it. Awesome. I did bookmark it. I'm good. Good. Alright, and then we do BX to show the video a bit. Yeah, it's great. I'll have to watch it after uh, this. Mm -hmm. Do we stop... have any rage against the machines, though? Can you stop calling us hair forehead? It's not nice. 
<laughs> I ride a bicycle, actually. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Did you see the, uh, like, the celebration image for a, for the Apollo Justice? Success? Uh, I'm not sure I, I did. Think... I might have. Jerry posted it in the chat, in, um, our, in the gaming chat. Right. <clears throat> oh, the, yeah, the one with uh, Hobo Phoenix. Hobo Phoenix looking very sexy. Yeah. I mean, Edgeworth. He's got a kind Edgeworth, of look to him. Edgeworth looking pretty hot as well, and then Apollo just ruining it all. <laughs> just like, what? No thoughts, just. Head empty. Also, Mr. Charlie is in the background. Yes. A Peterson. A Peterson, maybe. He's also a, a German rock star, which yeah. also helps the German. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, it Francisca is... is like a German, is like a. What if an American went to med school in Poland or some shit? Mm. Also, fuck you, Apollo. Uh, Jack, play the bonk also sound. Oh, yes. The bonk. Good. Did the roof look like that? Yes. Oh. Also, look at the menu. Yeah, ramen, 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 rice bowl. <laughs> I don't know if we pointed it out last time, but I think it's very funny. I think we did, but yeah, it's still, you know, deserves pointing out. And for once, we actually feel sorry for the officer in charge, because they don't deserve it. Mm hmm Glimmerous fop. Interesting. Not an inaccurate description. Hmm. Also, how much do you want to bet he has, like, um, a David Hasselhoff record collection or some shit? No bet. <laughs> I just find it very funny that David Hasselhoff was a massive success in Germany. First thing first. My badge. You got my sister off a murder charge. Well died. Well, at least she goes to visit that that farm upstate where Gant is. Yeah. She does come visit sometimes, which is weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. Weirdly, it's around the same time his assistant Maya comes to visit as well. It's whenever Maya goes to the bathroom too. It's really weird. I also smell. She also smells like fire and brimstone. She says it's gap. <laughs> I keep telling her she 
stop Gant from smoking those cigarettes, but... Eh. No, he seems to like ducks, though. I actually don't know what bait you guys are going for. I, I'm kind of lost. Is in, Gant is in hell, so is uh, Amos' sister. Oh. I don't think Amos' sister would be in hell. It's a bit well, harsh. More, more my joke is that Gant is essentially Satan. Oh, ah, so fair. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, that, that's definitely fair. And that, uh... He's also Lucifer from Hasbin Hotel. Hence the ducks. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> you Have you watched that one yet, Mel? No, I haven't. I just have the music on repeat at this point. Oh, so do I. I still have I've listened the to the music. fucking slaps. I mean, it's probably weird that I can recite all of Loser Baby from memory. To be no, fair, it's, it's Keith That's the exact David. Kind of song you would like to recite from memory, Mill. It's Keith David. You have to. It's a it's a legal exactly. requirement. I'm exactly. I'm also yeah. I can also do all of Respectless and Respectless is a good one. A fair amount of you didn't know. Mm. Have How about heard... one? How, how memorized do you have that one? How have you heard? Stayed God, Boot, and Lilith. No? <laughs> oh, someone did a remix of it? Someone did a voice edit, yeah. Oh, God. Nice. And it's... I don't think Lilith even has an official voice yet. Nope. But everyone seems to fucking love it. I to mean, be fair. It's already on its own. I'm, I'm I'm gonna link the the song to you, Jack. You you should listen to it at least. Because mm. you've seen the series, right? You. I I've seen the whole series. Yes. Wait, what did uh what did Gavage Trip Phoenix have? His uh, oh, his, his badge. badge. Yeah, his badge. I was yeah. gonna say I didn't know Phoenix had cheated on out for like that. That's shameful. <laughs> and with a child, no less. There you go, Jack. Have fun with that. Oh, I will. Also, that art of Lilith is just making me feel things. Look. Wood. <laughs> I, I, I know I, apologize. I know myself I understand myself and I am a very no, no. specific person no yeah I get it and also I agree <laughs> I mean there is the big old honking footprint there Why not? Might as well have Forensics another... are fun. Might as well have another new mechanic. <clears throat> Be right back. Allow me to explain. <laughs> Why does this not fill me with confidence? I'm not sure. She went to study in Europe and failed. I mean, I'm more bothered by the single footprint by the uh, stand. 
considering we, you know, figured out that it was somebody in the stand who did the shooting. You know, forensics seems less high tech than what they uh, than what they show off in you know the uh, in bones in bones and you know other TV shows. To be fair, I always got so mad at bones. <laughs> I know, my brother, my brother was so so mad at the computer virus written on bone. He was so mad. It was so funny. You know, that's the you, thing with artistic license. Do you know what, like, wait, why do you know what, what pissed me off? Go on. <laughs> it was Hodgins and his fucking mass spec. Yeah, that, that thing did ev anything the plot needed it to do. Yeah, no, it was a magic box. I'm not mad, I get it. Yeah. I'm not mad, I get it. I'm still mad though. Mm -hmm. Did it have gum on there? How do you have everyone shoot? I don't, don't know. Ask. Why does- why is there a shoe database? <laughs> database? Right, so that was walkies. Well, let's have a look at the other ones, just out of curiosity. Also, uh, it's not Gub, it's just the soul. He's just a weird dude. Right, okay. Again, I'm more bothered by that singular footprint there. It is off. Alright, I assume it's a... is it a present thing? No? Uh, hold on. Check. Ah. Check. Uh... Uh, and another flip to Dallas Stab, I guess. Yep. I'm doing the single one. Okay. Seems important. Well done. Good job. Okay. You don't have to t keep telling us the steps. We remember the steps. Yes, I'm ready. You don't have to keep saying this. There's a leaf on it! Right. 
Okay. Mm. And another super. Yeah, let's do the last one. I think you know whose those are, but... I mean, clearly they're phoenixes. Clearly. need the ink print to figure this one out. I don't think there's going to be grooves on it, so it's basically about the shape. Oh, there were, though. Fair enough. So those were, those were stickless, alright. So of our mystery shoe prints, the closest it looks like it could be is plums. Not, not love, but like. Thinking, because we're an intelligent person. Oh, yeah, the the, the slippers. Yeah, the fucking slippers. No, they look like nuts. Chocolate snackoos. What? I, what? What did she say? They're saying I picked the wrong evidence? Yes, present the slippers. I did! <laughs> examine, examine the shoe print. Mystery one. Right. Um. Not presented. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. Don't have to keep. Not present. Oh, look at that. I wonder what that weird shape is. A leap on the wind. <laughs> the wrong primary color, Apollo. Don't you know that? Alright, skip through this. Come on. Yes. Okay. That's just dumb. Could we not have just done that? Yep. Correct. Hey, son, I'm starting to see why you failed the forensic exam, Emma. Yeah. To be fair, that wasn't a piece of evidence she had. Yeah, but if you were handed a pair of slippers, wouldn't you look at the bottom? 
Yeah, not go. Oh, okay. I don't think these are related. <laughs> to be fair, she is depressed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Depresso espresso, baby. Woot woot. I mean, look, if you're not going to do your job, we kind of have to do it for you. If she admits it. Yeah. More than Gumshoe ever did. Emma is actually legit. Emma and Clavier are like the least antagonist. antagonistic. Uh, prosecutor and detective duo. Yeah, to have. I can I can believe that. All right, Albin's house. Yeah. <laughs> we are apparently very connected. <laughs> we will have fun. Into the Maractus Clinic we go. The fuck is that fish? I don't know, like a piranha or something. It's in there with a lobster. Yeah, they're having a great that. time together. It's uh, the new, the newest um, episode of or entry in the Finding Nemo series. Shark Tank, brouhaha. Uh, go Shark Tank. Mine, 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 mine. God, those seagulls are fucking annoying. <laughs> okay. Hang <laughs> right, a minute. Who, who's those shoes? Those look like lifts. Wonder who wears lifts. Uh. Also, a lot of noodle bowls. Yeah. Oh no, tell me poor Eldoon isn't the killer. Oh, women's sandals. <laughs> I mean, they could still be Eldoons. You don't know that. Nothing is for certain. Everything is ambiguous. Eldoon might like to look pretty when he's pulling his stand. Honestly, new, uh, heels are terrible for balance, especially if you're pulling the ain't heavy. I, not our first clue, Apollo. We found the sandals first. Dab in the door. Yeah. I mean, I can go in and lock it so that you can unlock it if you want. <laughs> oh? I'm gonna laugh if it's Phoenix. It's bad in the back.
You see those, those casters, right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Wait, what? Back of the room. What the? The bell jar looking things. Yeah, juice. Uh, did you, um, did you check the, net, the lamp? Not yet. <laughs> it does seem unlikely, especially considering it looks, looks like, like it's a full letter. Safe. Yeah, it looks like a full. Like a uh, digit code safe. <laughs> what are those? A goldfish? Oh, this snack that spawns back has to do with anything. Right. Oh, two of the digits are already entered in. Seven and nine. Interesting. Oh, will leave us with about a hundred combinations. Uh, we'll show a hundred combinations, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no. That can't be right. Yeah, it's a hundred. Oh, I know, that was Wesley's. Hang on a se fucking second. Mm -hmm. There's a toe print. Ink. <laughs> I don't re I 100 percent remember what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna, you know. For a second, though, I thought that was you blowing on this on the mic or something. I can blow into the mic if you want, but it's not going to be pretty. No, that's. Hmm. There we go. Wait, or actually, not be done at all. Thank you. Are toe prints and fingerprints different? Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fair enough. All your fing all your fingers are different from one another. Yeah. All right. I noticed you pulled not even twins on the same fingerprints. Right, I'm just gonna assume we don't have it yet. Oh. You know what, that does make sense, but let's check the lamp first. Oh ho. Okay. Is 
that lipstick? I think so. Looks like lipstick. Definitely a broken bulb. Alright. Let's just do the window and then we'll check the safe prints. You ever feel like you're spontaneously going to enter a food coma? Yes. All the time. Yeah. If we can figure out the correct numbers, we only need to put it, uh, put them in uh, two different combinations. Yeah. At most. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we get our first try. Hopefully, Maractus didn't use gloves. But it'd be really awkward if we only found one other thing rather than uh, two other things, and we'd have to figure out which of the uh, previous two buttons had been used twice. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I think it's 52. On. There we go. Elden Jack. First try. Oh, you're not gonna let me look at the kitty statue? Okay. Oh, is there a ball in the back of the safe? No, there is. Walkie Kitaki. Because it could, you know, really do some damage. It's an interesting cat. Nurse Alita Tiala. Yeah, yeah there it is. He is where she was. Mm. Uh, okay. She's a gold digger. I'm getting some gold digger, yep. Gold Bitch digger vibes. She's a gold digger. Oh, no. There's only two people. Oh, no. It's Mr. Noodle time! Oh, okay, that's that could be a lot better than what I was thinking. I was thinking him. Oh, fuck that, no. <laughs> I'll do him, obviously. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. That was my bad. Yeah, are we anyway. serious? Okay, yeah, let's bullet. Check that, and then we'll, why don't we go to the park? Get to talk to Emma. Right.
What kind of crazy person fires a bullet into a safe? Me. Oh good, they closed it. Not even gonna not even gonna try to respond to that, Jack. I don't think it really bears signifying. Fair. We have indeed made a discovery. Of the scientific kind. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh... Oh, is that who they meant? I, I don't fucking know at this point. Oh. Okay. What are we showing Emma then? Uh, the... Is it the bullet? Bullet, right? Or the lamp? Uh, check the slippers and the sandals to get their toe print. Oh, the slippers? And then present... So, the slippers do in fact have a toe print. I mean, maybe somebody was walking on their hands. Who knows? Unlikely. Familiar, yeah, I was it? gonna say, is that is that the exact same toe print? Maybe. We'll see. Perhaps. <laughs> I'm just imagining, you know, Apollo and Trucy just arguing quietly in front of uh, uh, Emma and then, you know, doing the whole, going through the process of just sprinkling dust in and blowing it out and just like, okay, have we got the print now? I think so. What are you two idiots doing? No thing. All right. Now we can present. I'm guessing present either of them. Yes. Let's go with the sandals. Well, isn't that nice? Now present the other one. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Okay, that's easy. Right, now do we go to Eldoon? No. No? No. Where do we go? You should go check on you should go check on Phoenix. Fair enough, it's been a while. What cryptic bullshit is he going to give us this time? Yes. Is this really what we need to be focusing on right now, Apollo?
Right. Magnificent genius. Who's the magnificent genius? Right. Ah, we've oh another uh, another prodigy. We kicked Francisca's butt when she was seventeen multiple times. <laughs> They're so progressive. They let children take the fucking bar exam. I I don't think that's how progressive works. Yeah. I call bullshit. Mm. Yeah, gonna need more than that, Phoenix. Come on. The forging attorney. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Blue Monday now. <laughs> How does it feel? Every time I hear that phrase. I don't think you did, Phoenix. I mean, you might have accidentally submitted the evidence that had been forged, but you probably didn't know about that. I mean, the only thing is true is, that's definitely true, is that he is no longer a defense attorney. Instead, he is Papa. Alright. Now go to the detention center. Wait, he's Popeye the Sailor Man? What? Yes. I am what I am. Lucky you are such a fucking sim. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Some days I wonder if it's worth it to defend idiots like this. <laughs> No one else will. Yeah, you get the experience of being sent to the chair and executed. They do! That judge gives nothing but death penalties! He is a very kill-happy judge. I saw, I saw him preside over a trial for somebody who stole a loaf of bread. That guy was in the chair within five minutes. And you shouldn't even, don't even think about the other guy. He had to go to a penal colony for five years, at least, and then had to go and run away, become a, a whole ass shoe salesman, while a cop chased him. It was a whole thing. And I'm jumping. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hey, I picked up what you were putting down. But I get it. Rip Jean Valjean. Well, that's gonna uh, fucking um... happen, kid. <laughs> yeah. Again, you don't go to jail, buddy. You go to the chair. Freeze some sperm while you still can. You recognize these shoes? Oh. Okay. Well then. Interesting. Good to know! 
Oh, he's not just a simp, he's also a mark. Yeah. Of the highest he, order. I mean, he's clearly a mark. Hmm. Of the highest order. You have a bullet in your chest! <laughs> if you aren't sent to the chair and you don't get it removed, you're gonna die in like a week. Yeah, we broke into the clinic and everything. <laughs> yeah, we really kind of do. Yeah, we remember. What they always uh, say. Um, I don't believe that's a saying. No. Yeah, he's a mark. Good God. He is a hundred percent a mark. She is in this for the money. It's almost impressive how blue she is. Yeah. Now, she knew he was going to die within, like, a few months. And she went, All right, I'm going to get me some of that mob money. So you can actually live, I would guess. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call this large, buddy. Are we doing anything else with Walkie again? Besides uh, questioning all of his life decisions? Hmm. Uh, uh, not really. Did you make sure you talked about the health checkup? Yeah. Okay, then I would go to Elkins. Okay. Why are you sad now? You're so happy. Why are you happy? Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad we're, you know, helping out with that. Okay, just wanted to check if there was anything else to say. I'm glad they wrote in legible uh, red handwriting, bullet lodged near heart. Yep. The rest of it is incredibly illegible because, you know, yeah. doctors. Mm -hmm. Oh, this boy is dead. There is no saving him. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if his heart rate goes above 160 BPM and he, then he is kaput. A, B, D? All but Science dead. Has... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I always oh, love Jesus. it when our, when our little skits turn out to be the truth. 
Yep. <laughs> he's got a piece of metal lodged in his heart. Of course he's nearly dead. <laughs> yeah, this ain't Tony Stark. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was what? a wig! <laughs> oh my god! Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, I think the that's the best reveal. <laughs> I think that's the best reveal of the game. <laughs> so far, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Aren't you glad I did see you reveal it? Are we yeah. so, so glad? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh my god! Oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> No, I imagine he isn't. Uh, right. Yeah, we knew this. Right. So, there's no removing it and he's dead. Yeah, it's not Ooh. good when something that shouldn't be there is near the aorta. Yeah. Those you, you at home that don't know what the aorta is, that is like the single biggest blood vessel in the body. Yeah. It comes right out of the heart. Well, good news, Trucy. You're gonna have a new trick. Another half a year. Oh, right. Oh, he is dead. He is really gonna die. <laughs> it is boned. Do you think we can get the judge to postpone the trial? <laughs> what do you think? I know. <laughs> no, the judge will make it wa will try to watch. <laughs> the last Look. time we had the judge try to watch, it didn't go well. Look, I will I will let you perform the surgery if I get to watch if it's performed in the courtroom and I get to watch. And maybe chuck some popcorn in there. Please last don't, Your Honor. The last time we let him do anything like that. Someone got arrested for three fingers getting cut off. Well, once Walkie's dead, he can take out the bullet and say, I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. So long as he's allowed to perform the autopsy, that's it, that is. Yeah. I love how even zoomed in, some of it's still illegible as fuck. Yeah. Again, she's bitch as a gold digger. I love that we all figured it out well before Paul did. Right, that is the end of this investigation segment, but it's also going to be the end of the stream, so... Let us get this saved.
Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing that, aren't I? Okay. It's funny how I accidentally called it, even though I, I was joking earlier. I know. <laughs> I, I was trying so hard to not say anything. <laughs> So, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, in terms of future stuff, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sundays, as always. Saturday is going to be the Winter 2024 Anime Wrap-Up and Awards stream. So, look forward to that. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you for watching. Please do give us a follow here on Twitch and all that YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment down below, and please press that bell icon to get notifications when we upload a new video. And otherwise, hopefully we will see you on Saturday to talk about some anime. Good night. Good night. Later.